What is going on? You are listening to Tag's podcast, aka Talk About Gay Sex Podcast. This was to be the live edition, episode 450. And I say was because a little bit later you're going to hear part two of our live show that we were able to salvage. The good news is we are switching platforms beginning next week over to Crowdcast. And you can get that link beginning next week on Monday if you just go to tagspodcast.com and visit our brand new home over there. Um, Our current home, we had some glitches and we were supposed to bring on sex positive coach Craig Cullinane. And he will be on in an upcoming episode. Don't worry. We are excited to bring him back. If you want to watch part one of last night's live edition, you can go to our YouTube channel and just go to the live stream channel. It would be episode 450 and you'll get part one of what you missed. In that episode, we talked a little bit about the guy who created Florida's Don't Say Gay Bill, who actually wrote it, Joseph Harding, who's now facing jail time. Yep. Poetic justice is all I can say. We talk about a brand new study that looks at the horniest cities in America that have the highest rates of downloading OnlyFans. Yep, it's a whole great conversation on that. And we talk about a brand new show on Out TV, Hot House, which is all about finding the next queer sex symbol. So if you want to watch that, go to our YouTube channel and is it is under youtube.com forward slash tags podcast and click on the link live stream. All right. And a personal update from yours truly, as you may have heard, I have met a guy in a sex positive club here in New York City. Okay. I'm talking about the New York Eagle. I met him at Jockstrap Wednesdays last week. And then when I went back on Saturday with my friend, I ran into him again. We had some fun, sexy shenanigans at the bar in the stall. And he informed me that he is better in bed. So I am looking forward to meeting up with him later tonight. I will report back on Tuesday's episode next week on how that went, if he truly is better in bed. But looking forward to that. But here is the second half of last night's Tags Live. We've got three hot topics for you, including Thirst Trap. You want to check that out. Here we are with episode 450. Hang in with us for a second, because there is a MMA fighter who's the first guy to come out as bisexual, Mm -hmm. Jeff Molina, and he did not want to come out at all, but somebody posted kind of a revenge porn, if you will. I'm just using that as my, you know, the only thing I can think of. Somebody posted a video of him getting sucked off and he said, you know what? This sucks because he knows his community. He quote, he wrote the thought of my buddies, teammates, and people I look up to looking at me different, let alone treating me different for something I can't control was something I couldn't fathom in a sport like this, where a majority of the fans being the homophobic cocksuckers, his words, they are, I didn't see myself doing this during this part of my career. And he has really stood up for the community in the past. He tried to Cody wear the pride shorts, Mm -hmm. uh, UFC's pride month shorts for a fight. He was in a while back that really got mixed emotions um yeah. people told him to suppress his feelings they really came after him and he was really disheartened by that this is before he had this video come out about him now this wasn't the way he wanted to come out but it's i feel for him because you know we talk a lot about other act people in the limelight like lucas gage who hasn't officially mm-hmm. come out in any way but is in a mm-hmm. lot of LGBTQ type of content. We just talked about Diplo, who's one of the top 
DJs on the planet right now yeah, who didn't come out, didn't come out, <laughs> but is saying he may or may not have had a blowjob by a, a guy, and that he may or he could see himself getting involved with the guy in a long term relationship. Yeah. Sounds and good then to me. there's an, an a National Hockey League player, Luke uh, Prokop, Prokopo, I believe his name is, that also is not getting the love in his life right now in the National Hockey League. So do you think certain sports just, they're not there yet? And if you are a certain type of entertainer like Diplo, it's a little bit easier to throw a bone to the community. And then if you're like an, a younger actor, I heard that. If you're a younger <laughs> actor, it, you kind of can play both fences currently in the climate that we live in today. But it's truly a spectrum if you are a person in the limelight on how it is to come out. I mean, granted, Jeff Molina didn't come out he was forced to come out yes. because somebody posted this video of him. Yeah. I think it, well, first I just want to start off and say it is never good to post any type of revenge porn to out anybody without their, that should never be done. I, I don't stand by that. I think that that's horrible. And I'm so sorry that he had to go through that to be forced out of the closet. I will go on to state that, I don't know why I sound like a news reporter right now. I'm going to say, <laughs> girl. <laughs> I'm taking the glasses off. Take the glasses off, girl. I will say that I think that there are certain arenas and certain careers where it is easier to be more sexually fluid. I think MMA fighters, they have this whole perception of them that is tough guy or super masculine he or, said that cody in yeah. his statement he said actually i i'm i consider myself a very masculine dude is his what does and that he, even mean i know i kind of cringed when i heard him write that statement but i still side with him because of his Me mma too. status and because he didn't ask for this video to come out and be, but I did kind of cringe when I heard that yeah. too. I consider myself a very masculine dude, but I think he was really speaking of the overall context of MMA fighting and being really uh, respected within his community. He's still a fighter. This is sorry. You can bitch all you want, but this is where the community that he is involved in mm -hmm. he's a part of he represents i think he was trying to expand it a little bit more by wearing those shirts earlier on last year <laughs> didn't go over very well and he was probably like forget it i'm not even gonna and then this video comes out and yeah. now he's forced to come out as bi yeah uh, well you know what i think that by this gentleman being um coming out even if it was a little bit, if he was he was forced out. It just goes to show that we are varied, and the gay community is is so diverse, and we come LGBTQ so many, community, really, and, right? Thank you very much. It, we are uh, we're so diverse, and we come in many packages, shapes, sizes, masculinity levels, whatever that means to anybody, femininity levels. And we are all included under the LGBTQ umbrella and we should all be accepted into our own community. I do think that, I think that's the end of my statement. Yeah, I mean, I just think he, his, I think in his way, he was really trying to make a statement last year when he tried to, I think the MMA community had come out with these rainbow shorts and he was in his way trying to show his support for the community and kind of like pave the way for what could be mm -hmm. um, where he might come out at some or sh share with him. It's none of our business to be honest, but because of something like this revenge porn being exploited like he was he was forced to come now he's getting a, he's going to get a lot of backlash because that i believe and according to jeff molina mm -hmm. the mma community is not ready for lgbtq they are not yeah. and hence the fact that he had to write 
you know, I'm I consider myself a very masculine dude playing in a, but you know, I just think it sucks for him because he may now go to some of these fights, which I imagine are really rowdy and really yeah. testosterone driven. And he's probably going to hear a lot of shit he down the road from here on out. Just- now, is he going to be the prototype of the hero that we all want? That maybe he will be, and I hope he will. I hope he stands strong, and we are here for him. I am, at least, um, just because I think you're right. It's not an even playing field. Yeah. And I use the word field as we talk about sports here. Your puns are on, on point on this one. I, I you, mean, you, we you had to... the suck in there. You had the... <laughs> I was I was in in awe. Thank you. I'm I'm writing all these notes down. You you were doing the, the damn thing right there. <laughs> we are live salvaging a show here. And Teddy says, "Okay, Barbara Walters, in Talk reference to me. you." Yo. <laughs> you uh, know. He also says, so uh, re- "Reminds <laughs> reminds of Latino men thinking topping does not make you gay." Mm, good point. Yeah. Br- what does Bryce say there? Bryce says, "To be honest, he is fucking." tired of queer men using masculinity as currency if you're masculine you just are you don't need to announce it yes i agree with that there is a viral video going around of a trans i I think that they're trans but i'm not quite sure anywho it is a it's a person that's saying responding to another person's um video of them saying that they're only attracted to masculine people. And this this person that is responding to the other person, I know it's getting involved already. They, they were saying that it's not okay. It's okay for you to have your preferences. It's not okay to kind of punch down or exclude other people by making them demeaning them and making feel making them feel less than for their femininity. Sure. Basically. And yeah. in I'm just gonna in kind of defense of Jeff Molina, I think he was writing a statement because he was outed against mm-hmm. his will. Some yeah. of of that video against his will. I think he was talking about masculinity in in the prototype of MMA. And it I'm sure he I believe, I don't think it was really a statement towards he thinks certain types of masculinity is more appropriate than others and mm-hmm. feminine. I don't think it was. I think it was, he was outed in a way that was really disgusting. Yeah. And no one should ever be out. He was really talking about his industry. Agree or disagree with me. Yeah. I think that's where it was coming from. I did also say, if you rewind the tape, I cringed when I did read that. Oh, yeah, no. I and I, knew you I think he's figuring all this stuff out on the fly because he'd never expected this video to come out. I'm here for him. Yeah. Are you here for him, Cody? I am here for him. I would like to see how things progress. And I just kind of want him to open his, hope, open his mind a little bit because I do think by him... Something else that kind of rubbed me the wrong way was when he called his his the people that were against him cocksuckers. Like that doesn't rub me the, the okay. The so right you know what you're bringing up good points. So he's maybe got some learning to do as well. So I mean, we all yeah, do. Yeah, we all do. So I'm not judging him. I'm just saying, come come over here. I'll rub your hair, and we could just have a little kiki, and we could just talk and have a good time. He will beat okay. your ass! No, he's, I know, a, right? he's adorable, though. I really think he's, he's adorable. He's a very and, cute guy. Yeah, sexy. <laughs> we just say sexy, maybe not adorable. I don't know if that was right. I but. know, right? He's coming to find you now. <laughs> no, I'm rephrasing everything. Bryce says, uh, or Teddy says, Steve, you want to suck Diplo's dick? I do not. Actually, he's so not my time. I, I don't. <laughs> it's not but okay um hey there it's stevie i know you can all agree with me here at tags that we all would like to have a better sex life i mean it's all we talk about right interesting fact did you know that up to 50 percent of men have some sort of symptoms that actually get in the way of having a better sex life it's true If you want better sex and to be able to find and explore better sexual opportunities, you are not alone. I'm here to tell you that Roman is here for you as an online digital clinic that can help you with so many of your sexual needs, like having and keeping a strong erection, plus more. 
Maybe you're in a relationship and really want to please and surprise your partner and spice things up like lasting longer in bed. Roman offers discreet wipes that you can carry with you to help you last up to four times longer so you won't blow your load too quickly. Want to treat low testosterone? Or maybe you don't even know your T levels. Roman has got you covered to get your testosterone levels checked and even has a treatment to help with low testosterone. Roman is so convenient you can do it in the comfort of your home, avoiding long lines and hassles. And if you need medication or if testing is needed, Roman makes it so easy sending it to you in discreet packaging with a very quick turnaround. To learn more about how you can achieve your personal sexual health goals, go to ro.co slash tags today and get 20% off your entire first order. That's ro.co slash tags. Let's move on maybe if you guys want to still play to this Reddit thread before we get into and help us salvage a show, people. Um, this is something we were going to ask our special guest. I won't just read it. It was a recent Reddit thread that says he won't take his shirt off in the light. He writes, I've been seeing this really cute guy. Neither of us are an Adonis, but we're not overweight. Have fit legs, have fit legs, arms, shoulders, and backs, and are just a bit soft in the belly. He's a tad softer than me, but has better pecs. All that is to say, I'm really attracted to him and tell him this, and he says the same to me. The catch is he won't take his shirt off. We've had sex several times. It was great. And I have seen him without his shirt, and it's not like he has any crazy scars or anything but he's pretty adamant about keeping his kit on in the light, even though he's fine being totally naked otherwise. Laughing out loud, he writes, I've questioned him on it, but he says he just wants to get in better shape. Anyone else encounter this with a guy? What's it all about? Run-of-the-mill low confidence or maybe the result of some trauma. I want to make him feel better about him. Any tips? It's an interesting one, and I wish we really were able to ask our special guest because he really talks about Craig Holland. And I should probably edit this out because he's not going to be on this show part of it. No, no. So edit this out. But the point being is, um, you know, I always think that the the idea of I'm going to go out, I'm going to start dating when I get my body in this particular shape. I think we all have this idea of yeah. where we're going to be at a particular point in time. We all talk about this thing called summer bod. And mm -hmm. what does that even mean? I mean, nowadays you can go to Puerto Vallarta, which I keep talking about now. Summer could be February in most parts of the states, but in Puerto Vallarta, it is literally summer. So yeah. what does that even mean? I mean, and are we ever really ready? My neighbor often talks about that when you're in a club, they're only looking at from here to here. <laughs> That's all they're, they're seeing. looking from here to here, then here to here. I don't know. That's what it. Guys. And so I know. And I bought these fabulous new. They're called combat boots. They're called no. They're called riot boots. And I'm obsessed with these boots. And my friend said, "No one's going to see those boots." And I'm like, "Bitch!" But I know they're on. And they are the boot <laughs> that makes feel better. They are the boot that makes me feel powerful. I feel like I'm a rioter. I'm obsessed with them. I love them. But according to my neighbor, you're like you said, we're only seeing this to this and like head, this and like this wonky ass show that we're just putting together here. <laughs> we're only seeing this to this. So <laughs> What are your thoughts, Cody, as I went on in the Oh my gosh. Wow. Yeah, you're right. I, I love how you, I'm just loving everything you're doing tonight. <laughs> I I've, I've taken to the I bottle. <laughs> <laughs> I agree with you 100%. I'm going to echo what you said in very succinct way and say that no matter where you are in your life, you are worthy right now of love. And I think that the only way that people can learn that is if they kind of accept it themselves. You can't make someone feel better about themselves 
no matter how hard you try, it just doesn't happen. But let me stop you there, Cody. The boyfriend has to put the, the work in for themselves. Go ahead. What were you going to say? Because it sounds like he, this person that wrote into Reddit is having good sex with this partner. So yeah. in other words, this partner is not retreating back. He's yeah. actually having sex. He just isn't taking his shirt off. Yeah. So in a way, he's doing the deeds, pleasing his partner. Mm -hmm. He's just like, I'm not ready to take this off. But yeah. enjoy the enjoy the D. Okay. So to me. This this looks like, and I'm gonna have to talk to this person to kind of dig a little bit deeper. Okay, we're not getting his phone number. I mean, hello. Although we did get Bryce's phone number on there, <laughs> and I'm wondering what that's all about. But. Uh, there's a love connection in the comments. You guys should come see our live show. It's not always like this. <laughs> Bryce put his whole phone number, and don't edit this out. I might read it live. No, I'm not gonna. Read it. <laughs> <laughs> we yes mama you. Roo. i mean mama we cody <laughs> um but yeah no i i what was i saying i forgot already because when somebody you were saying a lot of people oh. aren't there with their bodies yet and we need to get them however i was making the connection that it's not like this Reddit threader was isn't having good sex with his partner he just doesn't want to take off his shirt right now yes no i you know what this rings to me as as a type of trauma because it sounds to me and again I would have to talk to this person like he got picked on for his body and now he doesn't he feels ashamed of his body and he doesn't want to take his shirt off in public that's that is what it looks like to me and or he's just not like covid happened and he's not happy right now like a lot of us mm. have been but to to not take your shirt off in front of your partner Somebody that's seen you naked already in Good the point. light. Yeah. That, I mean, just, you're right. Because we do certain things on this show to promote the show. And I went through a whole thing today where, like, I came out of the gym and I w did one promo to promote this show, mm -hmm. this wonky -ass show that we did today at, without my shirt. And I was like, oh, I don't know that I like my body in this picture. I'm getting there. And I redid another one with the T-shirt on like mm -hmm. I have on now, mm -hmm. to be really honest. And in the end, I chose the shirtless one with a filter. <laughs> with a, with, I mean, a, a simple filter. A simple filter that is on stories. And I went with that. And I just went with it. But there are points when we all feel like, uh, you know. <laughs> on the other hand, I have somebody that is coming over tomorrow. And I think it's going to be a hot sex moment. And... I'm not worried about my body. I'm yeah. happy about it. In an intimate situation, that is the place where you feel safest. And and somebody that has reinforced that they're attracted to you, for you not to be able to take off your shirt, it it just says to me that you have some sort of trauma. The only thing that this person, the Reddit writer in, can, can do is just... Because there's no way that you can make them feel comfortable with their body. I have things that I am uncomfortable with as far as my body is concerned. You do too, I'm sure. I know I do. Joe, my boyfriend, does as well. And no matter how much he tells me that he loves my body or other things about me that I'm not comfortable with, I know that it would t only I can overcome that hurdle in life. So he has to do the work. He has to put in the work and become accustomed to and comfortable with his body. And let me piggyback off of that, too, because I was talking to a friend of mine recently where you can sometimes have... So I have a friend that is losing weight, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then we'll move on. So I have this friend that's losing weight, and we were on a cruise recently, and he kept getting picked up by this guy that liked him at his particular weight. Mm -hmm. Well, my friend... And kept motioning towards things like his belly mm -hmm. like i love that type of body mm -hmm. well my friend doesn't want to draw attention to his yeah. belly he doesn't even want to be in that kind of state of mind right now and so 
there are those that are into that, but my friend isn't into that. My friend's like working on changing his body. So mm -hmm. there can be different like modes of where you're at with your body. Uh, I think this person, if we were just to bring it back home, mm -hmm. should just say, boo, I, I love your body. I love having sex with you. Yeah. I've, you know, it would make me feel if we were both naked yeah. and we could turn the lights out. Yeah. <laughs> All they can do is be a safe space. That's it. Can you give us a little Teddy Pendergrass before we move on? Close the door. Turn off the light. <laughs> oh, turn off the light. The lights. Yeah. And light a candle. Ow. I can't believe you know Teddy Pendergrass. A uh, close the door is Teddy Pendergrass too. It, There's yeah, I know. I just lights. listed two songs. Oh, I'm and you proud know of them, you. <laughs> honey. I worked in R and B radio. Teddy back P. In the oh day. my God, that's a panty dropper right there. Turn off the lights. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got to get to this last segment. If you'll play along, it's produced by Straight Up Gay Porn, and they ask the question every week: Who is the hottest? Who took the hottest shot of the week or video? And this week it's 20 gay porn stars asking that question. And in an audio podcast, when this show gets repackaged, we are asking the question for us to vividly describe how, who got our fancy, who got your fancy, Cody? So I'm going to start off by saying that it was really close for me this week. Um, rain really caught my attention because, whew, Jesus, that rain man, on me. <laughs> he is fine. Uh, my boyfriend's in the other room. I'm going to lean in a little <laughs> bit. <laughs> <laughs> but my vote this week goes to J55. It's a video. Okay. He's sitting in a chair, jacking his cock while wearing a jock strap. He's just got a little bit, his cock poked poked out of the side of the jock strap and he's got all these tattoos and he's got a sexy beard and he's got he's even got like a little bow tie on which i thought was really i was like this man is a gentleman i know he, <laughs> he's gonna say nice things in my ear <laughs> when, while Ooh. he's doing me dirty <laughs> but yeah he's jacking his cock and then all of a sudden he moans and he says i'm almost there and then oh. buckets of cum is shoot out of his cock. And I was like, done. I'm I'm done. This is so hot. I'm well, I, I'm gonna chop you on my I'm pick ready. because mine was buckets of cum too. And oh, I went to yes. Valentine Amour, Let who was from France at Valentine Amour X. And he the caption is come taste my creamy dick with the the dick sign and he's sitting on a toilet which may not sound very good he has a hoodie on but with the chest out and the hood over him he has a great beard he's leaning back he has a very thick cock very long cock and he's jerking it off and he creams like buckets of cum yes. and it's a total creamy dick moment and he got my number one pick um the only one that would get my second pick if i had to vote would have been hatler inc because he's cute but he has sexy feet that he's showing and that was my other pick of the week but I'm going to go with my first pick and call it a day on that. Is anybody There's saying so anything? Things. I don't know if anybody like got this in our in our link there. They, Did they? Are saying, ha Eli says Hatler Inc. And Teddy is saying, oh. I don't know if I want to read this. He says, really? I would not have guessed that one, Cody. But I mean, uh, I'm open to a myriad of paramours i mean <laughs> i have a boyfriend so i can't be that open but <laughs> bryce also says zeb for me and second is dom king and teddy says ty santana nice awesome thanks everyone for playing on that and really thank you guys for salvaging our show here we know we had some technical difficulties we are working on those for sure believe me People will be fired on the spot. <laughs> you made me snort, by the way. I don't. You got to cut that out. I can. Fire, you're fired, bitch. I'm, um, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, gotta yeah, yeah, go. yeah. 
<laughs> that's from nine to five. Oh that's yeah. That's from nine to five. Okay. Um, okay. We will figure this out. Yes. Um, and thank you so much for playing. In the meantime, you can follow Cody. He's a life coach. Follow him at KMD Coaching, KMD Coaching, or at Mr. Maurice, Mr. Maurice. And you can follow me at I am underscore Steve V. I am underscore Steve V. Or on all social media platforms, Tags Podcast, at Tags Podcast. Thanks so much. And in the meantime, Cody, continue having hot, hot gay, gay sex. sex.